among the many uh, new tools that I have um, sought to introduce here in this distance learning time is Discord. So basically Discord is a chat voice sharing um, platform and um, the advantage is that we can use it throughout the course so it will be there from now on until whatever after the course and um, and I will be on it as much as possible but even if I'm not there you can help each other so it's basically just a forum for um, this course where you can chat you can share your screens you can upload images you can do voice talk with each other and hopefully uh, in that way um, try and make some uh, small substitute for for the, the classroom so the easiest way of uh, getting hold of this card is if you go to your web browser and uh, just um, in Google search for D-I-S-C-O-R-D um, so here's D Discord you can download it as a native app there's advantages of that I'm a Windows app it says Windows you will be on a Mac perhaps there will be a download for Mac you can also pick it up from your app store uh, and install it from there on your mobile device or tablet or whatever you want so um, I prefer this code from our, um, this um, Adobe Connect when we are not doing direct lecturing. So if we're going to go back to direct lecturing instead of this, as we're trying at the moment with self-paced, um, then I'll probably go back and use uh, Adobe Connect because I think that's better for, for that situation. But for this where I've said, okay, let's try and do some self-paced um, learning, then um, I would prefer that you are semi self paced. Um, uh, learning. I'll, I'll, I think that Discord has advantages because it's there all the time. You can just jump in and out of it. And there's no one that has to set up a meeting and things like that. So you can download that. And if you do that, you can do screen sharing. If you don't, you can just talk and upload images and whatever. So first thing you have to do is you have to log in. Um, and of course, if you download it, there will be a, a login there also. I'll just show it on the, on the web browser. And I'll log in with my, um, my not teacher. So so I'm logging in with uh, my test user here. Good. Um, so this is the Discord program itself. If you um, uh, haven't used it before, there won't be any. There's just be you up here, your little uh, avatar. Um, this one is because I've been already in using it. The way that you join our our channel, or they have called it a server because it can have many channels, is that on Moodle there was this link this discord link it looks like a link and it's also a link and you might be able to click it and start um, but what it also is it is an invite code so if I just copy this code go into discord pre press the little plus say join server and get rid of that start bracket there like that and say join it will now bring me in to our what they call server but it's basically a connection of channels okay so here we have you can see um, our chat so trolls have had a problem at some point and he posted a, a screen name uh, shot and i will then go in and, uh, and 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 look at his problem so um this is um the, the basic layout is that we have a series of channels. So if uh, two people or any number of people are in a voice channel, at the moment I am in this one that's called Plenum. So this is where, where when um, we start the lectures, we can all we can all st start and talk here. Um, 
and I can share common things. And so this is our basic um, work environment. There are two channels. There is a voice channel and a talk channel. So this is a text where we can um, we can chat with each other and, and share. if I press a little plus I can so I can say uh, hi and press a little plus and find a picture. Uh, let's take that one and uh, open it and uh, upload and um, so now I've posted this um, image in this general channel so we can um, do talk to each other you can um, if I now try and uh, make this a bit smaller so I'll just make a split screen thing here so on this side is me as a test user on this side is me as homes my normal user okay so if i go and into this uh, plenum i can see what's here and if i say uh, hi from homes you will see that it's already set up here over here so we can communicate back and forth this way um, the voice channels if I um, if I click on a voice channel then this user is now in that voice channel and if I as this user my teacher user also click on it I can now start speaking to myself so everyone that is in this channel here can um, can talk together that means that if you want to do a group work you can all go down in or into a uh, a group room and then those people that are together here can talk together in this channel and the same goes that if you share this this text channel you can also um, start talk, typing here and you can see the same you can also do a, a direct let's say telephone call um, had, I can see Trus had didn't want to hear me record this video, so he has left. That's fine. Um, so um, you can uh, you can do a direct call. So if I want to uh, talk to someone specifically, I can right click on them, and I can say call, and uh, then I will be able to talk directly uh, with that user. Um, or I can, uh, and you can see over oh, on this user here, there's a little icon saying, oh, someone is going to want to talk directly to me. And uh, I can join the call. So now there'll be a nasty echo. So I just have to mute my microphones. Um, so these, and of course, we can talk together. And this will be then a private conversation just between the people in this call. So I can leave the call on um, both platforms. So I now I've left it and I could go back to my server where I was before and join my voice channel uh, up there and I'll join this one over here. So now we are in the same voice channel again. You can see I have my microphone muted down here. So um, I can talk if I want to talk, I can activate it and you can hear the echo again. So I'll just deactivate it. Um, once you've finished with the channel play, uh, or working, disconnect. Um, I've had people um, forgetting this program, especially on the Windows. It can minimize and be down in the tray. And uh, and then you can suddenly hear people's private conversations. So whenever you finish, disconnect it. Um, and that will um, just uh, leave out. So now... I'm disconnected and I disc, disc, I connect again by clicking on the channel and now I'm back again. So remember when you're not using it to disconnect. Okay. Um, I think even you might be able to see. Nah. Okay. Um, that, um, I think that's basic. Now uh, there's one more thing that uh, we're in the group rooms and if you have the, the app, so I'll just go down into this group room, uh, both text channel and, and I'll also do this as 
my test user. If I down here, I can share my screen so I can say go live. And I'll just go live with my recording set up here. So um, now I am um, I am streaming myself over in this one here. If I'm over in this user here, you will uh, be able to click and uh, and you'll see that this is the one that I can stop. The, um, I can stream also my my um, my um, my my screen. Um, and if I was on on a desktop, I could do exactly the same on my uh, on, on on my user over here. I don't think I'm able to do it in this situation here. So, um, and you can do the same if you have your uh, your desktop app. So I just closed it. So you have this go live function which will then you choose which of your windows other applications or whole screens so i chose my studio here and um, i wanted to share it but you can see who's, who's in this channel and i'll say go live and now everyone that is in this channel would be able to see this live thing here um, that they then can join good um so that's basically um i hope that you'll use it um again as always with these things um give me um, feedback um let me know if it's uh, nice and useful and i said i hope you'll use it also when i'm not online so just if you want to have a group work thing go down in one of the of the group meetings here and um and, and you can have a a chat back and forth share file or whatever and hopefully that will make um doing your homework much easier so bye